what's going on everyone welcome back i've got three parcels i've got a figure some windows to fix the diorama and i've also got a tool to make my diorama projects faster so these are the three parcels i'm going on about and i'm also going to be spraying this all black the bottom's going to be black and the top's going to be red so i'll open these now and then i'll be spraying this right so first up we've got this should be a Marvel Legends, Baron Zemo. So I got this off eBay, off my fiance for Valentine's Day. So let's just open this one up. And yep, yeah, here we go. We've got the Baron Zemo. He comes with his gun, but he hasn't got the sword. I've been after this figure for a long, long, long time. Let me just stick the gun in. This will just set off my hydrant display now a lot better. So yeah, there we go. We've got Baron Zemo. Sick figure. No scratches on him. I was looking at the eBay pictures. The joints are still stiff. No wobbly legs. Head's still nice and stiff and strong. So that's the first one done. Baron Zemo. And then next up we've got some dollhouse windows to do my diorama, big diorama, a lot better. It's been a while since I've uploaded, it's been just over a week. I've just been busy minding the kids while my partner's been doing more work, while I'm currently not working due to what's going on. There you go, got it. So, There we go. And with this, I've got four windows. In fact, yeah, four windows. A couple more window frames. I'll we'll just open one because they're all identical. I think these have working windows in them as well. So also I've got some more frames and panels. And then there we go, we go, let's see, yeah, so there we have it, these are working windows, so that will definitely make the fire armor pop, so I'll show you where these will be going in one minute, and this I've already opened to check it out, so here I've got a mini, mini bench cut off saw for making all my own windows, so this is the bad boy. There we have it. So I will be doing another video showing this in better depth. But that's the first proper tool that I've got to make my dioramas, which will make it a lot better and faster. So that's what I've done. Not a bad little haul. So I'm just going to go and spray this now. Well, I actually painted it all blue. I didn't have no red or black. So I painted it blue and I think it looks actually pretty decent. So yeah. And also, I found this other little old diorama. So with this one, I'm gonna try and get this in here somewhere and see see if I can sort of um, make a bit more room. I'm not sure whether to move this big one right to the end with that one, or stick that part there or that other one there. I'm just gonna move some of these figures now and just have a little mess around, see what I can do. Well, I've finally put the windows in as well. Threw both of the prefab windows in. I've also just put a couple of little extra detail bars onto the windows, just painted them as well. Put a bit of blue, blue stuff behind the air and a bit of blue plastic behind the windows, spray painted it. Try and make it look a bit more realistic. I think it looks a little bit too blue though. Just need to do something inside them windows and then something behind these windows and then pretty much ready all you need to do is put the two fire escapes back up and put the door back there and then we have both of the fire escapes and the door back in all you need to do now as i said is stick some sort of pictures behind the windows make it look like there's a room behind there and then also i just need to get all the figures back on and then i forgot to put them stairs back in the picture then and i've just done the side bit for the old ghostbusters 
building. So yes, let me just start cracking on and getting all these figures displayed and I'll show you where I'm up to. Just put the lights on, give a bit more light. Basically all the figures that I need to stick back up on the display is all of these figures on there and also all these figures. And then I've got another full wave there which I need to do another video and review which I got the other day. And then I just need to try and pretty much get all these figures, the loose figures, all in there and then in these bottom shelves. So I've got a bit of work to do now. So I'll put it on a little time lapse and we'll see what I can get going with this. Right, we're mixing it up. I've got all my Spider-Man figures, all the Spider-Man villains in there. So instead of using all these figures, I'm possibly gonna use these. These have been in there for months. So I'll possibly do a Sinister Six display and see what I can come up with. Well, I've finally put the windows in as well. Threw both of the prefab windows in. I've also just put a couple of little extra detail bars onto the windows, just painted them as well. Put a bit of blue, blue stuff behind the and a bit of blue plastic behind the windows. Spray painted it. Try and make it look a bit more realistic. I think it looks a little bit too blue though. Just need to do something inside them windows and then something behind these windows and then pretty much ready. All you need to do is put the two fire escapes back up and put the door back there. And then we have both of the fire escapes and the door back in. All you need to do now, as I said, is stick some sort of pictures behind the windows, make it look like there's a room behind there. And then also, I just need to get all the figures back on. And then I forgot to put them stairs back in the picture then. And I've just done the side bit for the old Ghostbusters building. So yeah, let me just start cracking on and getting all these figures displayed and I'll show you where I'm up to. Just put the lights on, give a bit more light. Basically all the figures that I need to stick back up on the display is all of these figures on there and also all these figures. And then I've got another full wave there which I need to do another video and review which I got the other day. And then I just need to try and pretty much get all these figures, the loose figures, all in there and then in these bottom shelves. So I've got a bit of work to do now. So I'll put it on a little time lapse and we'll see what I can get going with this. Right, we're mixing it up. I've got all my Spider-Man figures, all the Spider-Man villains in there. So instead of using all these figures, I'm possibly gonna use these. These have been in there for months. So I'll possibly do a Sinister Six display and see what I can come up with. Well, I've got a somewhat little collection of a display going, but there's not enough figures to go up on there to do a Sinister Six. I've got all the, obviously all the figures, but it's too big of a diorama, basically. So I'm just gonna have to basically throw a few more figures in the mix and just get a display going. Just looks a little bit too empty. I'll just throw a few more in and see what I can do. Just keep adding to it and just seeing how it looks. I think I'm pretty much done with the display now as well. It's pretty hard to get it all in frame, but I've got the wind, the lights, the um, the blinds open on the window to let a little bit more light in, but it's giving a little bit of a glare out. Definitely looking packed. Got a mix mash of everything. I've just had another little delivery as well. I've got another hot wire phone cutter, so now I'm gonna start cracking on with a few dioramas tonight. Get nice straight lines, no more little botch up jobs. I had major problems though displaying them figures on the balconies because they kept on falling out because the connection is just not the best. And then, as you can imagine, once one had fall, it knock about 15, 20 off, and then it was just probably took me about two, three hours to do it all. But pretty happy with it now. All you need to do is crack on with the rest of the displays down here. Take these figures out, throw a few more figures in there, get another little diorama made, and I'll nearly be there. One thing I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether to use the 3D printed Professor X hover chair or use the wheelchair for that display. I'm not too sure. I do quite like this 3D printed one though. I also need to add windows into there. I carved them out. 
need to cut them out and then get some more windows. There's like six windows on there. And then possibly paint that back diode to match this diode that I've used in, in the display. Try and give you a little better look from above. Not really much more I can do with this now. No more figures I can cram in there. Maybe get a few more on the end, but I think I'm gonna call this video a wrap. Crack on with the next one. Start uploading, getting some more content going. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.